Hi everyone, I'm Jamie. I'm user Xvice Dice on the XDA forums. Um, I've had a couple of you guys ask uh, me to upload a tutorial on how to sync your Xbox controller um, with your tablets, um, Smart Rider Zoom, Galaxy, etc. So, um, first of all, you want to start by going into your marketplace um, and downloading two applications um, USB, sorry, it should auto focus in a moment, um, USB. Um, Bluetooth Joy Center and the touch add-on so once you've downloaded them and you've connected all your cables necessary for your Xbox controller you want to open up the Joy Center not the add-on the Joy Center and we'll wait for it to scan you want to click OK use by default click OK on that one and then it should fingers crossed no nope, nope, mine's not working Give me two seconds. There we go. So it picks up your Xbox controller. So click that. The next thing you want to do is make sure this little thing in the right hand corner is on. It's, uh, it's the touch controls. You want to make sure it's on. It allows you to sync up the touch side. Um, next, click Touch Edit S. allows you to edit the screen and save um, the remapping. Um, and you want to remap that to a button on your controller. So, for instance, on mine, I'll press my right analog stick in, um, and now that's synced. Once you've done that, you want to come out, come out of the program altogether, and go to the specific game you want to remap. So we're going to use Backstab on this one. Again, apologies for the really bad quality. Um, so I'll restart from checkpoint. So once you're on the game, you, you notice there's obviously a load of on-screen buttons. The analog, you're fighting, you're shooting, you're jumping, etc. So now what you want to do is bring your controller up, press that button, the one you synced up earlier to touch, and you'll notice this comes up on the screen. This now means that you can sync up your buttons to the, the on-screen. You'll see in a minute when I do it. So. For myself, I like the A button to be my jump. So you want to hold the A button. It's where it's going to get tricky because I don't have free hands. So hold the A button and just just hold on the screen exactly what way where you want to put it. So hold on the screen and you notice a little icon comes up. That means whenever you now press the button, it does that on the screen. So let's come out of this now. So we press the button again. That touch edit S. And now we notice when we press the A button, he jumps. And we can do this for the the, the whole the you know the, the complete rest of the buttons. So again, if I want to if I want to do the fighting, I switch the editing on. For the fighting, I hold B, hold it over there. There we go. And now that's synced up the two buttons. So now when I press B on here, he fights. He jumps. Um, it's the same with the analog. Um, you want to make sure your editing's on. You want to hold it in one direction for the analog stick. So hold it in one direction. Hold your finger on there and it will give you a range. And then you'll notice, there we go. Which now means once you come out of edit, you can now control your player. As you can see with the controller so that's it for the actual game loft games or the games which come as common from the marketplace um, so we're going to stop it there i'll do a second video for you guys if you want regarding gta remapping the buttons for gta i hope this helped i hope i didn't bore you to death um and you got any questions just send me a message on xda or write me a message on youtube take care